What's up, Warsaw? It's the What's Up Warsaw Show. All the upcoming events around the county with the Warsaw Chamber of Commerce. Now, on to the show. And welcome to BCE TV. I'm Mac Vorce with the Warsaw Chamber of Commerce. What's up, Warsaw? Uh, lots coming up. Uh, we have the uh, Lake Life Outdoor Adventure Show right around the corner, uh, May 21st and 22nd. Um, we had 100 booths and we are 100% full. And today I have Luke Johnson here. What's up, guys? Uh, Luke is uh, Warsaw Adventures, a brand new store open on Main Street. Um, and congratulations. Thank you very it's much. It's really great to see the building open. It's great to be open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a long haul. Um, and you guys are renting bikes for the levee trails. Yep. And uh, going bikes, into kayak yeah. rentals too. Bikes, kayaks, paddle boards, uh, right there at the shop. You leave there from the shop, you return it to the shop. So it's easy And access. it's great because you guys got what, 65 acres of wetlands right behind the right. shop. Full of biological life and wildlife. Uh, Scenery, birds, all sorts of stuff. Um, yeah, 65 acres, open water up into the trail area. Yeah, uh, all protected. It's, it's really, really lucky situation, really, yeah. uh, for for you guys to get out and try paddling. Uh, really controlled, so it's safe for the kids to be out there. Very safe. Uh, uh, so that when they rent a boat, you get the boat paddle, uh, right. life jacket. We provide everything you need. Um, helmets for the bikes if you want them. Um, you don't. You're not required to. Uh, paddles, life jackets, everything you would need to enjoy the, the time okay. on the water. Okay, so May 21st and 22nd, we have the Adventure Expo going on right down here in Drake Harbor. It's our first one we've ever done, and you guys uh, joined on early on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the neat thing about this show is you're going to be able to rent bikes right down there in the harbor. Right. And you're going to be able to rent kayaks and paddle right around in the harbor area. We're going to have our entire fleet down there. So okay. our, our bikes, kayaks, paddle boards, anything you want to try out. This is going to be a great time. We're going to have shortened time frames. So yep. instead of the one hour and two hour and four hour, it's going to be 30 minute paddles or a 30 minute bike ride. Uh, come down and try your hand at, at one of the new uh, yeah, items. and it'll be just really neat to be able to do it right there on the spot, you yeah. know. Um, and on the adventure show, you know, we got we got ATVs, side by sides, and motorcycles. We have boats. Uh, we have land sales. We have uh, security systems like for docks and stuff like that. Hunting and fishing uh, equipment. Um, and just all kinds of, and you guys are going to be right by where the landing will be serving uh, beer and wine. Right. Uh, that was really neat. Yeah, right <laughs> and behind. right next to you is we have the more overlanding crew coming in. Nice. And this is these really cool vehicles that have this camping stuff all over. Yeah. So it really kind of goes hand in hand absolutely. with the adventure at, with the adventure store too. So yeah, it works absolutely. Out good. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Um, so May 21st and 22nd, you guys, this is super exciting. Exciting uh, for us at the Chamber of Commerce. Our chamber members really, really jumped on board with this one. Um, Friday night, the show opens at five o'clock, and we go to nine o'clock. And Friday night, uh, we have uh, live music. And Friday night, we're featuring uh, Brandon Ward. is going to just be an awesome show. Uh, we have all kinds of food down there, beer, wine, and all this stuff uh, going on for the expo. Uh, Saturday morning, we open at 9 o'clock. Uh, we go till 5 o'clock, and at about 11.30, we have a special performance by Ryder Smith, uh, right out of Lincoln. This kid just can rip it up on the guitar. Amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, he will play till about uh, 2 o'clock, and then right after that, we have a special guest, uh, Doug Kellis will be playing. Um, it's going to be a really neat time just to get the whole community out. Uh, we're taking phone calls, uh, I don't know, my gosh, Kansas and Arkansas. People are hearing about this outdoor yep. show, so we're going to have a good draw for this. We've heard about it on our Facebook page and everything else. Yep. Too, so uh, all the radio ads are going out now for it, okay. so it's going to be really, really good time. It is $5 to get in. 
um, you can bring three canned goods to get two dollars off. Uh, we're doing a, a food drive for the food pantry too. Nice. Um, our old hunting and fishing shows, we used to raise several hundred hundreds of pounds of food. Um, I know that because I had to load it into the <laughs> trucks. <laughs> uh, Tyler, I'm getting a hold of you this time to help out. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's a two day show. So, so I don't know how. You do one day, I'll do the other. Okay, that <laughs> sounds good. Yeah. Uh, so lots of uh, lots of cool stuff going to be happening down there. Um, Friday and Saturday, live music, food, beer garden, but all kinds of cool outdoor adventure stuff. Uh, if you want to side your house, they'll have a siding company. If you want to, oh, they have that. We have all that. Um, oh, a couple of companies doing that. Poly furniture oh, right, right, you know yeah. um it's just going to be really neat we've really assembled quite a, a collective group of of adventure yeah. type stuff it's going to be great it, it really is yeah. we're looking forward to it okay so uh, you guys will be able to hit the water early on saturday right away yep. yeah yep. absolutely right away as soon as it opens up first, first people in there'll be boats sitting there waiting for you ready uh, to go kayak um, ready. and i believe we'll just stage you guys right down at the bottom of the boat ramp yep. so it should be easy in and out for everybody yep. hey guys this is really great we want this to be an interactive show um, so you get out and try some different things so please take advantage if you want to learn how to stand up paddleboard or give it a try come on down to the adventure expo if you want to go out for a little bike ride uh, they have these really cool comfy bikes uh, with easy shifting on it has some baskets and on there too you can go for a bike ride uh, you can really get involved and try the equipment out right there on the spot. If you have people in from out of town and you're just going, well, what should we do this weekend? Bring them down, have them kayak in the harbor for a little while, and then take them across the swinging bridge on a bike rental. Yeah, it's you know? great. Yeah, it's, the harbor is going to be perfect for it. And, yeah, it and really these bikes is. are set up perfectly for these types of trails. Seven speed bikes, step through, easy on and off. Yeah. 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 And the super clean looking, super clean. So everybody on the trail is going to go, what? <laughs> That's what we want. Yeah, exactly. All right. Hey, we are going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we are going to get all caught up with uh, our school district and see what's happening out in Wildcat Country. Be right back. And welcome back to Ben County Enterprise TV. Hey, guess what? I got Dr. Sean Poiser here. Um, and that means that we've had a board meeting and we're going to get updated about the Warsaw School District. And this is a very, very exciting time because it's a run to the end. It is a run, that's for sure, Mac. But in a good way. Yeah, in a yeah. good way. So lots and lots of stuff going on coming into the end of the year. Uh, this is one of my favorite times of the year because we get to help out with academic excellence. Yeah. Uh, academic excellence, I think this is the 32nd running of academic excellence for the Warsaw Chamber of Commerce. And what we do, um, we put out um, to our members um, uh, letters that they send money in to us and we give the top 15, 15 kids of each um, each grade, yeah. each grade um, a little recognition. Yeah, you know? you uh, the seniors, though, they actually get scholarship money to their school. To, it goes right to their school. They don't have to mess around with it. That's we right. send it right to the school of their choice, and we get them taken care of. And right now, <laughs> right now, you guys, our chamber members have done such a fantastic job. We are just shy of eight thousand oh, dollars. That's awesome. It, it really that's is. Awesome, it gosh. really is. Um, two special scholarships from the uh, uh, R Bar, Kevin and Stacy, out at the R Bar and Grill. Each year, they give a five hundred dollar individual scholarship. Right. And the Warsaw Shriners give a $500 gift certificate. Isn't that awesome? It, it is, Mac. I've been a lot of places. I've been around for a while. Uh, I've never been anywhere that, that does this, where the chamber does really? this. No, this is this is un, uh, unprecedented. And uh, as a district, uh, we're just so appreciative of all of our local support and our businesses. You know, it's just uh, tremendous. It, they truly are investing in home when they're doing this. Um, you know, there's. Uh, I've had uh, Brian posting up the businesses yeah. on uh, yeah. who have contributed this year. I really wanted to make it extra special 
uh, of everybody who is chipping in yeah. uh, because I know some businesses are hard times, some businesses are doing fantastic, but we're still taking care of the children. Oh man, you know, and, uh, and young and adults what? at this point, not even to uh, children. That's true. That's true. So we're going to do that May 17th, right? Yes, May 17th. Um, I've already talked to Aaron. We're going to have a fabulous dinner out there. Awesome. Um, and then the kids, they get their um, academic yep. awards, yep. Um, letters, letters, and all that kind yes. of stuff. You bet. Um, it's just a really great time. I can tell you, I was filling out all the information, and um, I'm as Cindy Merle uh, yes. out at the high school. Yes. Thank you, Cindy. You uh, she had all the labels made up, ready to go. So all we were doing is filling out letters, putting them in. And I was putting on this sticker, and I was like, 930 Red Boat. 930 Red Boat. Boy, that sounds familiar. It's like Joseph Michael Vores. Hey, that's my kid. <laughs> <laughs> I was so impressed. I was like, wow. It was unexpected. That's awesome. uh, we, we watch our grades all the time. I get our grades. Uh, I, I uh, Yeah, because because it's like, oh, go get on the phone, show me the grades, show yeah. me the grades, yeah. show me the grades. And yeah. uh, so it, it works out though, you know, yeah, it, it really it, you really have to, uh, but it's really neat. Um, the programs that you guys offer in the mornings, uh, uh, Joe shows up early uh, for math studies uh, right before the test. Yeah, you bet. You know, Miss Rollick, the state teacher yeah. of the year, and so deserving. Yeah. Gosh, she's there at seven o'clock. She beats everybody uh, there and, and every morning and yeah. uh you bet and she's not the only one but i mean that's the mind goes in early at seven or so every every day as well to work with her and and uh, uh yeah i mean the commitment and i'm telling you what the teachers are doing out there is fantastic uh joe's grades he has been very very solid yeah. um uh if there's any issues at all or if i have questions it's not even issues if i have questions man they answer so yeah. quickly yeah. and they give us a pathway to success every single time. Um, I, I, I didn't run straight A's, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, but having the teachers and and yeah. the guidance out yeah. at the yeah. school, hats off to well, you guys. You guys are doing a fabulous yeah. job. We, we really appreciate that. And, and yeah, it's uh, it's been a, you know it's been a tough year on everybody, right? Right. And, uh, so we're just glad we've been in school every day. You know, for the most part, we. We participated in, in all activities. We just had prom Saturday right. and work went great. We had echoes a couple weeks before that, and so we're we're very very fortunate, you know. But it's it's yeah, it's been trying uh, trying year course, but yeah. Uh, some of the really cool stuff that's going on. Uh, well, th this weekend is the uh, cat scratch scramble. It's hard to say. That's a lot. I want to say is cat a... scratch fever. Is yeah, what I, I know. Want to yeah, say right. <laughs> yeah, that's Ten some, Nugent days. Yeah, some right? music days. <laughs> But uh, this is the uh, fifth one. Fifth, fifth one, we believe, and uh, yeah, that's uh, it's a what, full slate. We got seventy-two golfers. Let me tell you, that booster club, man, do they put the time and effort in? Yeah. And of course, you know, and one thing I didn't tell you, so we just broke ground this week on the new athletic building. Of course, they've already donated fifty thousand and are going to uh, pledge another uh, hundred thousand, I believe. Yeah. Uh, just unbelievable uh, amount of support there, and uh, so. Yeah, thanks to them. And right? they stay busy. You know, if you're if you're going to an event out at the school, buy something at the concession stand yeah. <laughs> because it helps the booster club. Uh, buy something at the trailer. Order online. They're constantly putting new hats or shirts oh, or great, any kind great of stuff, stuff uh, out there. Um, it's very reasonably priced. I mean, right. it's great Warsaw stuff, and and uh, just can't. And you know, that's what it takes. And we really appreciate. Uh, that support. That's just part of what makes it all go around and, and work and we couldn't have some of those things that we have without their support. Right and it's, it's a very very energetic group <laughs> to Absolutely. say the least. You bet. They get uh, after they're, it. Yeah they're involved with a lot. Um, so some other stuff that are happening around the field. Um, yeah. You guys are getting ready to open bids. We're going to open bids here in less than an hour for our new concession stand. So that's exciting. Uh, fingers crossed. We have uh, we have a couple companies show up for that, and the price are, is uh, is reasonable. But uh, a brand new concession. We just uh, accepted a bid from Shaw uh, on new turf for our our football nice. field. Came under what we had thought. That's going to be great. It's a better turf. 
Um, we were able to pay for our bond. I say this every time I'm with you, right? right. Everything comes under, but we had some money left over. Part of safety, our field was too hard. It was worn out. It's, it really isn't an illegal well, field anymore. Well, we started a used, didn't we? It was a used. Oh, field? I think it was. I think it was a, a new one at the time. Oh, okay. I wasn't here, but still, uh, it's used up. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's yeah. What, yeah that's, that's what regardless, it is. yeah, yeah. But that, it's really neat. We just got the shop drawings done uh, a couple nights ago. Man, it's going to look sharp. And we've added on and remodeled, uh, basically broke down the studs on the press box. It was full of mold and, yeah. and it was a mess. It's been around a minute. It's been a while, right? <laughs> we've, we've, uh, that's right. So we got a lot of improvements going on. We're looking to put new seats in the gym, uh, getting a bid on that. Uh, the heart, we had the original seats in there, mm -hmm. 53 years old, 52 years old. And uh, so widen, wider seats, wider aisles. Um, you know, new scores, just things like that, right. just uh, making it better. And then we finally got a budget where we can, you know, we're in the black and we can do some of these things. Right. Of course, with Prop S, it continues to pay off to for shine. us. Yeah. yeah, Prop S, proposition shining, <laughs> <laughs> make us look good. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So it's exciting to do those things, you know, and, and have those improvements. Yeah. Um, so coming into the end of the year actually makes me always think about the start of next year too. Yes. And I know no one wants me to rush through summer. No. That's not what I'm trying to do. Sure. But this is an important time because this is when contracts are being signed. Um, yep. Recruitments of new teachers Absolutely. are going on. Oh yeah, spring is so busy. You're hiring and, and uh, trying to put all, I always say, put those pieces of the puzzle together. We're getting real close and still interviewing people. and. Um, you know, so that's that's part of it. It's it's stressful, and um, uh, you know we are. And we talked about this board meeting, and and with my colleagues and meetings and stuff. But there's just a teacher shortage right now, right around not just Missouri in this area, but around the country. And uh, yeah. so looking at ways to try to recruit uh, young folks and even professionals, you know, that are, that have experience, which I've had a lot of success hiring those folks mm -hmm. that they're your non-traditional type of a teacher. Um, how can we get those folks in the profession right and not right. just get them but keep them yeah and and right now and and you guys are another group that are suffering from lack of people yeah. getting jobs yeah you know that's exactly right yeah and uh if, if if anyone says around you that it's hard to find a job around here send them my way i can gladly direct them and in yeah. you know to the school the city Absolutely. is hiring you guys the city yeah. of warsaw is hiring right now you pick a restaurant they are hiring you pick a construction company they are mm -hmm. hiring um the boat places it, it i'm telling you uh, uh the hotels need need yeah. help so uh we have lots of people coming through and we have job opportunities for you so please get a hold of me where where it's, it's it, yeah. this is a actually kind of a little red alert right now isn't uh, it? It, that's a great way to put it. it it really is and so yeah you're right we we can always use people who always uh always seem like we have an opening and maybe a custodian maybe a paraprofessional whatever right. substitute bus drivers you drive a bus yeah. Oh bus drivers, gosh. we need bus drivers big time. We'll pay for your insurance, your health insurance. I mean, you know, right. so we try to do what we can, but yeah, you're exactly right. And uh, But I, I talk to a lot of people around town like that. You're you're echoing what I'm hearing yeah. too. I, and and I, I uh, just had a great conversation with for sales. Uh, they're in the same situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then down there in Hickory County, talking to some mm -hmm. of the people like Hermit, just same yeah. thing yeah you know so larger places small places we're all in the same boat you guys uh yeah, so lots of jobs everywhere so let's move on to happy stuff you bet, you bet, you bet. <laughs> uh, really neat stuff uh right around the corner coming up you know we're, we'll get out of school mm -hmm. and uh, enjoy yeah. the summer uh, any big projects for the summer for us, uh, our roof and HVAC, we went back on the middle school. We're going to do that. We're going to put the turf in, uh, we think, June 1st. We got a new scoreboard is going to be put in May 24th. Basically, our our ads are almost basically paying for that. Nice. It's going to be great. Brand new digital scoreboard. Um, it's going to be awesome. New sound system and, of course, that press box and then some things in the gym as well as far as the physical part of it. We just uh, we ordered $165,000 of math and English. Uh, textbook resources nice. novels uh, online curriculum as well so uh getting yeah. all that stuff yeah. in and we'll adopt our uh, science and social studies curriculum we'll have a full curriculum uh here at the end of the year we didn't have any of that when i got here five right. years ago so you know just keep plugging away right yeah and we got summer school starting may 25th to june 25th five four-day weeks really encouraged uh, that's kind of a k-8 
Perfect Tennis, we're gonna give you a $75 gift card nice. on this one day, we'll give you a 50. So we wanna encourage those those kids to sign up and yeah. uh, free lunch and breakfast. Yeah, uh, Driver's Ed is coming. Driver's up. Ed, that's yeah. a great program, helping yeah. on your insurance as well. Yeah, Maples you know, Ford, Maples uh, Ford always State helps Service. out. They yeah, do. they do a good job yeah. for you guys. So Absolutely, that's great. you bet. So. so. All right, well, as you can see, lots going on, and we'll keep you informed even throughout the summertime of what is going on in our school district and what's coming up for our school district. Bet. Thank you so much oh, for coming by always, today, buddy. Always enjoy it. Yeah, uh, you, we're going to take a quick break, and we are going to talk a little bit about... Uh, um, some kid nutrition and how we can help our kids out. Hey, Salvation Army, big shout out to those guys. They do an unbelievable job, so I just want to yeah. say thanks to them. Yeah, so we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. And welcome back to Bend County Enterprise TV. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Salvation Army. And today I have Linda Price right here and I have Terry Watson right here, right? Right. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, and I love my job so much because I get to see the behind the scenes of a community all the time. And when I first met these wonderful gals, uh, it was to talk about uh, kids meals. Uh, feeding kids in Benton County um, and the uh, project is just kind of amazing and that's why I wanted to bring them on TV uh, because we really need to get the word out uh, because this is uh, really really helping Benton County um, and the guys have stations all over and we're gonna get into that um, uh, Linda we're gonna let's we're gonna kind of jump around here a little bit how long have you been with the Salvation Army? I have been with the Salvation Army since November of 2019. Okay. And uh, Terry joined me approximately four months later in March of 20. Okay, uh, so you're both kind of about the same time frame. Right, yes. Yep, okay. And Terry brings to our organization some Salvation Army experience from when she was in Kansas, as well as lots of information uh, about human services which I was lacking. <laughs> so we make a good team. Nice, nice. Okay, so each one of you have roles with with the organization out of here in Bing County, right? Yes, correct. I organize all the bell ringing and the fundraising, and then she, we both work together with the human services. With the human, human services? Service, yes. Okay, all right. Um, so now let's kind of talk a little bit about the meals, all right? Okay. Uh, the meals, it's, it's for Benton County kids, it's 18 and under. Yes. Right? Um, and you guys do your pickups on Thursdays. Yes. Correct? Right? Yes. Uh, and the pickups are at the Methodist Church? For Warsaw. Yep. Yes. Okay. All right. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over where all the locations are. Because right. it's not just here, you guys. They are helping Benton County, and it's just awesome. So where else do we have places? Okay. We, in Cole Camp, you can contact Pastor Tanner, and his number is 573 340 nine six one nine to reserve your boxes and you will pick them up at the Methodist Church um, at Cold Camp Methodist Church and that's located at 107 North Boone Road from two o'clock until four o'clock and then in Edwards this is a new site that's just opening up this week um, you can contact Steve Brewer and his number is 636-751-3095 to reserve your boxes. The pickup location there is at the Climax, Climax Springs School parking lot okay. and that'll be at 6 o'clock and that location is 575 Climax Springs Avenue. And then in Lincoln, the pickup place is at uh, Place of the Lake Thrift Store parking lot. That's located at 201 East Main Street in Lincoln and that's from 2 until 4 o'clock. Nice. And then Warsaw, as um, you've already mentioned, is at the United, First United Methodist Church at 154 Washington Street in uh, Warsaw from 2.30 until 4.30. Um, if you need a later time, uh, you can contact Terry. Her number is 660-851-1187 or myself, Linda, at 660-620-8. 063. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of numbers out there. Yeah. Mom, can you help us? My mom will help put the numbers up. 
All right, so we're um, what we're gonna do? We're looking at um, these just tons and tons of boxes you guys get in when you, when the shipments come in. How many cases of food come in? Well, this week we're getting um, 300 and the, the county is getting 320 a total of 320 boxes. Nice and um, they're. The largest portion of the distribution is here in Warsaw. In Warsaw. Okay, and inside these uh, boxes are all these uh, pre-prepped meals, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, and what it looks like, there's just a ton of stuff in these things. Absolutely. Fresh fruits, yeah. vegetables, milk. Uh, there's pizzas, hamburgers sometimes, hot dogs, it depends on what they do. Some are fixed into like a microwavable meal so okay. that it's easy fix. Uh, the kids love the Uncrustables. Yes, yeah. <laughs> they love those and those are cheese awesome. sticks. And so they're nice and they're fixed fresh. They're nothing outdated. It is all fixed fresh ordered this week and fixed fresh for the kids today. Nice. nice. Okay, so when they come up, are they getting a meal for just the day? Or is this a box that feeds them for a couple of days? Seven huh? days worth of meals. Oh, wow. Okay. They get seven days and that's per child. Per child. So you get one box per child. So if you've got 10 kids, you can get 10 boxes. Okay. One, one. And so, and then we also encourage people if this is not enough, because sometimes there's families going through tough times, they need to talk to us because we have other sources and things to help put in place because we want no children in Benton County to go hungry. Right, absolutely. It just it makes for better grades, better attitude, right. and a absolutely. better way of living. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, you can see that the, uh, the boxes are just chock full of good stuff, you know. Um, it looks like you have arrows. Some people, it's really well marked when they show up uh, to each venue to do the pickup. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, or in the parking lots of the venue. Yeah. I'm not sure that they all have signage. Oh, okay. Um, okay. But anyway, we do here at the church. Yeah. Um, so the Salvation Army, and this is just fantastic that you all do this. It, it really is. And I know this is just one little aspect of what the Salvation Army does around here, correct? Correct. We are. Um, we also uh, take calls for assistance, and those numbers that we gave you uh, earlier are ways to contact both Terry and myself. Okay. Well, assistance in how? What way? Well, we, we've helped with food, okay. utilities, electric, propane, um, and prescriptions, okay, cool. and that, you know, that's the normal things. Um, now, Terry has a little expertise in getting to the root of the problems and uh, has other ways of helping people too. Okay. What we like to do is if every month we're coming up short with an electric bill, we need to sit down wide. Right. Okay, and a lot of times it's medication or there's other things going on. And so there's sources sometimes um, that will help pay for some of the medication or work with other organizations to put so things in So they're not place. having to, hey, I need to have my medical stuff, so I'm not going to be able to do this. Right. Wow. Okay. Right. So if we can sit down, no, not all things are that easy, but sometimes when we sit down, we work through and then we can go to other organizations and put things in place. And it's, oh, well, I'm, I, we're going to the hospital four times a week. Oh, okay. Okay, well, we've had a lot with Children's Mercy. We're making multi-trips, and they don't reimburse for gas until 60, 90 days. Oh. Okay, well, we help with gas, then they don't need utility assistance. Gotcha. So there are things that can be put in place when you sit down and find out what's going on with the family. Right. And help budget. Gotcha. And if the budget doesn't meet up with what the outgo is, there's other resources to help them get to that as a, a as balanced budget. A, right, because usually there's a reason, there's a crisis that's gone on or something right. that we can... And they have to pick. You got, sometimes you got to pick between this or that, right. you know. And, and If it's your medicine, if you have to have it, you're going to get that. Right, yeah. and there's, there's and ways. The, and those costs are way too high anyway. Yeah. I don't understand <laughs> it. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs> we won't get into that. <laughs> uh, well, this week at our food distribution, we're also going to be passing out information on the broadband, the new, um, the broadband program that the government has put out yep, so yep. that people will be able to get a discount on their internet and, you know, so it's just in, trying to inform the people oftentimes of 
other ways that they can get right. assistance. Of all the resources right. that are out here, you know, and, and some people, their pride gets, gets the best of them, and it's okay, you guys, if you need some help, there's people like this that will help you through the hard times. Right. That's what the new thing is. Um, how how large is our organization here in Benton County? Well, um, it's it's not it's not very large, but we're well supported. I mean, as far as actually registered, there's three of us: um, Terry, myself, and uh, the pastor over in Cold Camp. Okay. And uh, but I have many volunteers um, that are loyal, yeah. and um, they help with our. You know, all I got to do is make a phone call. Um, we help also help with the food distribution at the senior center. Is oh, another okay. thing we've been doing, and I've been providing approximately ten volunteers to that. Oh, nice, so, nice. So you have a you have a little force behind mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I know Susie Broderson uh, is one of the main bell ringers every year. Yeah, yeah. yeah she does a fantastic <laughs> she job. She absolutely does. Yeah. <laughs> so again, and that's what I love about my job. I get to see the the Susies out there. I get to meet people like you and really see. How how great uh, we're trying to make Benton County. Right. Our bell ringing is our major fundraiser. We do raise funds um, in November and December, and that's the official time. Um, but donations are accepted any time. Okay. Uh, they can be mailed to the post office box here in Warsaw. That, What's that? that? What's that the post office box? Post office box 1432 nice. here in Warsaw. and. Um, the other thing we do is we divide the money that comes in so we have a monthly budget and that way we always have funds available now towards the end of the month you know sometimes it gets a little tight but um, but we're always trying to help somebody and so we are funded through the year with the bell ringing program as well as any contributions that come in fantastic well um, it, it's just amazing. Again, thank you all for everything you do. It's, it's just truly heartwarming to know that there's this much support around. Um, so it, how, how, if somebody goes, hey, I want to be a volunteer or I want to help, you know, how do they become a volunteer? They can just pick up their phone and give me a call at the number that we okay. gave out earlier or I can read Yeah, it. let's repeat it one more time. Okay, my number is 660-820. Six zero. I messed it up. Sorry. Um, uh, six two zero eight zero six three. Right. Yes. Yep. Okay. Good. Sorry. I read it off your card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my mom will help. Uh, we'll get that number up, please, mom. <laughs> uh, but it's it's really neat. Uh, do you have anything else you'd like to add on for today? Uh, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to oh, have no uh, problem. hosting us today yeah. and to get the word out. Uh, one additional thing on the meals, yep. they, are, they will be going, uh, the program currently will end when school starts in August. So it's uh, so all summer long we will nice. be there. Okay. So, you know, come by on Thursdays and um, pick up the meals. The kids will enjoy them. And, um, and it'll take a lot of pressure off of you so you can enjoy your time and enjoy your kids. <laughs> right. They won't be hungry. Right, so. right. Exactly. So, all right. Well, thank you so much thank for you. coming. Really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, you guys, we have a wonderful community out here, and it's because of people like this that are willing to give and help. So get involved. If you have any questions, feel free to call me at 438-5922. I love talking about this stuff. Uh, we can get you uh, guided the right direction. Uh, girls, thank you so much for thank coming. You. Uh, get out and enjoy this weekend. Mother's Day weekend, right? Yes. Yes, Mother's Day weekend. Go hug your moms uh, and think about moms. It's, it's a great time. Um, and then get ready because May really starts picking up a lot of steam. Um, uh, all kinds of stuff with the Outdoor Adventure Show coming up. But this weekend, Mother's Day and the uh, golf tournament out at Shawnee Bend. Guys, have a great weekend. Thanks for coming by. This has been a BCE TV production. Thank you for watching.